cool. That's one thing that's cool about being out here and looking for stuff is that you come across other things maybe you didn't even expect and it's always a nice surprise, you know? I know there's some people in the hobby that really like the roaches. I remember I found some in Ecuador that I posted pictures of and people are posting the species name and yeah. all excited about them. And who knows, like the ants that are there could be some freaking ant that people would die to see. If I see that snake again, I'm gonna grab it. <laughs> you sure it's not venomous? I, I'm not sure. I don't know if there's anything special. I thought Tom, Tom would know better than me, but. Yeah. Wow. I know there's a hobby for these too, is like people have like hundreds of different species of roaches. Yeah. Do you keep any? Uh, I got a few. I got some uh, moon glow and uh, dubias and hissing cockroaches. I keep finding these beetles too, but all the ones that I see are, are dead. I don't, I'd like to find ones that are alive. I think there's a trail here. You wanna try this one? Oh, maybe not. Looks like we got a tomb or something up here. Don't fall backwards. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I left my backpack in the car this time. Oh, cool. I learned my lesson. There's like some trash and looks like they had a fire. I don't know that I want to go in there. Oh, it's like a little, oh, I don't know what that is. These structures they build is, it's like impressive. Yeah. Oh. Or some kind of ceremonial. I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ceremonial hot box. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, nothing. A lot of them really seated in the ground. Don't look possible to turn. Oh, so it sounds like they found the same roach and a scorpion and oh, a like scorpion. So what do you got there, Ian? Horse-headed grasshopper. I think Tom found him. Just, man, does he look insane. Oh, that is weird looking. That's awesome. He's super cool. There's a lot of cool stuff on this hill. Just putting <laughs> your dung beetles in your mouth, man. <laughs> Why are you pinching his butt? <laughs> 8,000 miles away from everywhere. Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome, but it is so windy. I don't even know if my mic's picking any of the, our dialogue up. Do you have any good time, Tyler? Yeah. Yeah. This is pretty Yeah, epic. this is a pretty cool spot. Beautiful valley. It is gorgeous. Just look at this scenery. We are looking for scorpions and spiders and all kinds of amazing stuff. I'm just amazed by like the diversity of all the different plants on the hillside alone. Just all these like air plants and what they call geophyte and epiphytes so they grow on the other plants and grow on rocks and the lichen and these pretty pink, I don't know what they are. And these things, kind of like succulent type yeah. things. And then there's these cactus, uh, where, I mean, look at this, like just like alien looking things. <laughs> there's some cactus over there with these red flowers on them. It's a very cool spot. And everybody's left us. We should catch up. Looks like Josh has found something. What'd you find? Oh! Look at this terminal legs are freaking huge. That is wild. I don't think I've ever seen this species before. That's pretty cool. That is cool. Yeah. What'd you find, Tyler? Don't let it get away. I think this is what Josh said is Tidius footy eye. Okay, wanna, yeah, it's an adult. Don't want to touch it. Yes. I wish we had a container. So we're going to get a better look. Yeah. Let's see if we can hear it. Just grab it by the tail? No, 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 no. Not like that. You'll get stung out of that. If you want to grab it by the tail, you have to open the tail first uh, so that you can, so that you can uh, grab them while without getting stung. He's much sleep. <laughs> it's trying to sting the stick. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Go shed and skin. There he is. Oh. 
to this put the end. Nice adult. Looks like a female. Nice find. I almost didn't turn over the rock. I thought that was the one you found the centipede under. <laughs> almost. I almost hit right. that one. Pretty cool, huh? That is so awesome. I've never kept this genus. That. They're parthenogenic, aren't they? Uh, I don't know if all of them are. Huh. Some of them are. I'm not sure if these Man, are. she looks even better in the sun. Looks like you made a friend. Ian. Yeah. We found your... Uh, oh, man. That thing. Cool. It's Holy grail. It's that's big too. Yeah. Pretty good set. I've never seen a titius that big. <laughs> that thing's sweet. I need to take you to see uh, titius methuendus. They're like, jeez, freaking huge, man. Aren't they they're the big so black good. ones? Yeah. And then would that mean that they're all female if it was parthenogenic? Yeah. Or at least, um, so some species. The majority, some populations might all be female. There might be other populations with males. With males, yeah. yeah. It's like how morning geckos hmm. are parthenogenic. And they're pretty much all female, but every once in a while, like very rarely, there will be a male that's born. Imagine if humans did that shit. I know. Like, oh man, I haven't seen a man for a while. I'm just gonna get randomly, I'm gonna just have a random pregnancy. How yeah, about a clone of myself? You heard of Jesus Christ? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> First case of human person. I'm gonna have to cut that part. <laughs> I'm not trying to start a religious war here. <laughs> A holy war Sorry. on the channel. <laughs> Religion and politics, keep it up. <laughs>. So we're heading up a little bit higher up the hill. What do you think we'll find any tarantulas out here? I'm hoping so. No nice. luck yet though. A lot of other cool stuff. This is pretty cool. Oh shit, there's a horse up here. Well, that just completes our tour of the livestock of Peru now with a horse. Yeah, this is so cool. Oh, here's those plants you were talking about, Rich. The aromatic plants we had in our shower. I wonder what they are. Yeah, That's so we recognize, recognize these. Not that we know what they are, but at our hotel in, uh, where were we, PSAC? Yeah. They had these hanging in our rooms and in the shower. I think he wants to ask you what these are. I felt like I knew that it was eucalyptus. <laughs> so these eucalyptus, they're not native. They actually uh, are planted for firewood and they just spread like wildfire. Same thing with the pine trees. Same thing with the pine trees. I stole that information from my new friend Ian. What's up guys? <laughs> you can see the burrow on the outside. We're here on the side of the road in Peru and we found something really cool. What'd you guys find? Got a Linothella uniformis here. Very it's a really cool. Really cool megalomorph, just like a tarantula. Very Ooh, large. She's a big girl. She's very grumpy too. And they bite. And they bite. <laughs> Did you get bit? <laughs> Small one, but. It's How's fine. it feeling? Felt like a little pin needles for a few minutes, but. It's yeah. Good. It's good to know they're not that serious. Well, it doesn't have to go any far. Yeah. Yeah, What'd you find? You? Oh, it's a Linofell some or other. I think she did. Big Tom. I feel it. Oh, no. Yeah. I think the difference, what, Tom, is it the chelicerae or? Chelicerae. Um, are angled instead of straight up and down? No, that's, those are true spiders. Those are true spiders. Yeah. True spiders yeah. I didn't even know that these yeah. things could get that big, dude. Me either. I've never seen them. It's probably a good six inch leg span on that? That thing's crazy. That is amazing. I have never seen a diplurid that big. She's a big one. She's beefy too, they're robust. Looks all scientific and shit. Like I know, like it's cool. Like real work. Yeah, we're actually like yeah. describing something important. <laughs> wow. And then I was thinking, you know, she's, she's gonna, gonna run at me and I'm laying here. <laughs> You're gonna. 
take a little belly bite to the face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's gonna live in your beard for the rest of your life. Or for the rest I of her life. Good luck with that. Cool. He had the balls to grab it. I didn't. Yeah, I wasn't sure what it, what it was, and I kept yelling, "Is it venomous? Is it venomous? Is it venomous?" And no one was answering me. That was pretty cool. Found a snake and a couple of linothelis and a small, what was the other one? Apoclastus or? Yeah, Apoclastus. Yeah. So there's a pretty good spot along the side of the road, but I think we're gonna move on and go a little bit further up the hill, see what we can find. the streets. It's yeah, this, like is family, this is family friendly content. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> well, we're, talking, we're just trying to translate one word. One word, curb. Go that way, stupid.